Good morning from Fiji. It has been a crazy few days here. It's our last day now and I thought I would sit down and talk you guys through why I'm here, what I've been doing here and what I've learned whilst I am here. So this is the second leg of our Shopify trip. The first one was in New York and then we flew from New York to LA and then over to Fiji. And honestly, it's genuinely one of the most beautiful places I have ever been in the world. I, I mean, I was walking around one of the nights and looked up and I had never seen as many stars in the sky as what there is here. It's so sort of relaxed and secluded and it's really given me some time to, you know, well, first and foremost, soak up all the information that I'm getting from all the, you know, super intelligent people here but also has given me the opportunity to really sort of think through a long-term strategy for Gymshark, think more about my role, and just sort of think deeply on a lot of things. So it's been really, really good. The reason for this part of the trip is more around mentorship. It's more around talking, it's more around learning. And, and for me, it's really been around, you know, bouncing ideas off some of the epic people here and really thinking about a long-term strategy for Gymshark, how we're going to achieve what we want to achieve. And then also just asking a few questions more around my personal role and things like that. My my aim going into this week is essentially in a sentence is just to be a sponge to learn as much as possible I'm addicted to learning I'm constantly watching YouTube videos reading about reading articles and things like that and my interest will spike and waver like insanely I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same and so whilst I'm here I just want to get my head down shut off the rest of the world and I want to listen and learn from all the awesome people that we're here with so I can take these valuable lessons and try and apply these to the Gymshark business at home so just to give you an idea of some of the people that are going to be here talking to us. There is Tim Ferriss, there is Joe, who's one of the co-founders of Airbnb, which again is a rapidly, rapidly growing business. Toby, the founder of Shopify, who is super cool, super chill, super intelligent. I feel like him and I are very similar, probably in the way that we work. Harley, the Shopify COO, who I feel does a very similar role to what Steve does at Gymshark, sort of, you know, runs the business on a day-to-day. -day. There is Lauren, who's the dude that runs Shopify Plus, and again, he's super, super cool, super knowledgeable, and he just gets things done. And then also, finally, the big man himself, Tony Robbins. It was so good to have the opportunity to spend some time with him. Now, I feel like a lot of people probably think that he's sort of a little bit more of like a motivational speaker, but he is insanely switched on from a business standpoint. Like, I didn't realize just how insanely switched on he is and how successful he is from a business point of view. What I wanted to do, rather than dissect each individual conversation and talk that we had, I wanted to summarize the consistent themes that I noticed throughout all the different talks after chatting to all of these different people. And that includes Tony Robbins. There were some very, very consistent themes throughout the week. So the consistent themes were culture, brand, and people growth. Now, going into this week, I was ready to learn as much as possible, and I sort of had a few misconceptions about what I would learn, I guess. I sort of think I went in thinking I'm gonna learn a lot more around the business and things like that. Now, that is true, I did learn a lot around the business, around the way that the organization possibly needs to work going forward, the role that I need to play in that. But what shocked me was the fact that I went into this thinking Gymshark has a crazy strong culture and a super strong brand. And these are two things that I'm really proud of and I love and I think they're brilliant and I still do. I think they're absolutely incredible. The Gymshark family is, is like nothing I have ever seen anywhere else. And I walked into this weekend thinking that's something that I will not need to change, that's something I need to move. Now, we're not gonna change anything that sucks, but what I realized is that I need to start to define that. So as we grow as a business, as we you know internally grow beyond the 100 staff that we're currently at now, as we grow into this larger scale company, the Gymshark culture, which is as perfect as it is now, it needs to be maintained throughout that growth. The first consistent thing that I know is from all the different talks is that culture, not only is it seriously important, and we're very aware of that, but it needs to be defined internally and externally. So that's something that I'm gonna be working on as soon as I get back to the UK. Second thing, brand. Brand, obviously super important. It's something that I'm crazy passionate about. The Gymshark brand is just an incredible brand, an incredible collection of individuals. But I think it's just something that we, we need to define, especially as I'm traveling more. We, you know, we've got people that will be running the event sections in the Gymshark business. There's more people in the product team. And we really need to define what is a Gymshark product? What is the Gymshark design? So it's, it's very much in my head. I can see it very, very clearly but not everyone else can, so that's something that I'm gonna be working on as soon as I get back. I'm gonna be defining these things very, very clearly within the business. And as a part of that is obviously the people growth. Um, as we grow, possibly to different locations, as we grow in terms of the team is gonna grow hugely over the next few years. Again, we just need to be defining that. We need to be making sure that when people are joining the family that, that they are the right fit. And I'm a huge advocate for meeting each and every individual that joins the Gymshark family, whether they're an athlete or a staff member. I think there's maybe a, a reality that that can't always happen as 
as often as it does now where it can't, you know, I can't be a bottleneck in the business, so other people will have to do that, so we need to be defining those things. The conversation with Tony was awesome. Like, he, again, he is such an intelligent and switched on guy. He understands business and brand and culture and, and everything in a way that, to be honest, I really didn't expect. Okay, so I'm sorry if this looks a little bit different. I just literally got pulled up, but yeah, as I was saying, now it was absolutely great to meet Tony. The most important thing that really struck me about spending time with him is that he really does care about people. I mean, he's a very people first person, he's very people oriented, he's an artist at his core. And that was really impressive to me and that was something that really resonated with me. The themes with Tony were generally very similar to the rest of the mentors. However, there was a few really specific areas where he really focused his time and really focused his energy when he was with me. He constantly talks about the long term outlook. Now Gymshark is a rapidly growing, fast business. I love to work from the heart of a very impulsive um, driven person. As I've mentioned in my other videos, we're bringing in that structure around us and we've got a brilliant structure at Gymshark right now. But he constantly talks about what is the long-term outlook, what is that next thing? And that's brilliant for me because that's exactly what I'm spending my time on. So we've got tons of awesome things that we're going to be bringing that will genuinely improve the lives of the Gymshark family and it's something that I'm really excited about. He was really pressing me for a plan about those individual and specific areas. He told me about something really interesting. So Gymshark is around 100 staff right now. Um, we're based in the UK. We're moving into our, our larger office and we're going to take some big, big risks over the next couple of years because we want to go on that massive, massive expansion. So he told me about this rule. I can't remember exactly what the rule was called, but it was around the fact that when the company gets beyond 125 staff, that's when things start to get a little bit more difficult, where people sort of branch off and they make their own little groups. Obviously, as Gymshark has grown so rapidly as a business, I think we've gone from about 10 to the 100 staff that we're at now in around 18 months. It's something that I've, I've noticed that um, maintaining that culture is something that's really, really important to me. And he said that 125 is essentially the magic number where things start to split off and people start to split off and naturally that's what happens. So using that, it really focused me in on the fact that I need to be defining that Gymshark culture. What is the Gymshark vision? What does the family together from the fans to the athletes to the staff to the people that I work with every day and to the people that come to the pop-up stores and our events? What is that culture? What are we pushing? And how do we get that written down? Now again, this is, it's in my heart. I know what Gymshark is. Gymshark is this brilliant family uh, of people, of creators, of, of people that want to improve both their body and their mind. And, and we all see the gym as that one solace, as that place where you can do that. That needs to be defined. So that's what I'm going to be working on as soon as I get back. And that's what Tony was really, really stressing with me. Tony is super, super objective. So when we sat down, he really forced me to look at where we are really, really at as a business. And again, because Gymshark is my baby and I run it with my heart and my soul, on the one hand, that's absolutely brilliant and there's something that I would never want to change. However, he really forced me to look at the business from a totally objective point of view. What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? And he was really, really pushing me to maintain this journey that I'm currently on of being a much more strategic business owner, being someone that is looking forward all the time. He was really, really pressing that with me. That was a huge bit of sort of reinforcement for me because it really showed me that the decision that I made to sort of move away from the operations, uh, the logistics and the, the finance, the, I guess the less interesting parts of the business to me, that decision was really reinforced with me and he mentioned how um, happy he was about that decision, how excited he was by that decision and how excited he is to watch the Gymshark brand go on this journey that we're about to go on. And what he actually even stressed even more was that if Gymshark is to be as big as what I really want it to be and what I know it will be in my heart is that I need to be looking even more ahead than even I thought previously to meeting him. At Gymshark, because it is my heart and soul, it's very, very easy to be pulled into that granular detail, to be pulled into things that are happening every single day. And again, he just really stressed the importance of me pulling out of that and really focusing on the super, super long-term strategy for Gymshark. So this week I've learned so much. Um, I went into this week wanting to be like a sponge and wanting to listen, listen, listen and learn and I did exactly that. I've left feeling a lot more well equipped for the challenges that will come over the next few years with Gymshark. I feel a lot more rounded, I feel a lot more objective and I feel a lot more, I feel like I've got a lot more clarity as to where I want this brand to go and what I want the culture of the business to be. So I'm really glad that I could share this journey with you guys. It has been so much fun this last week. So now I can't wait to get back to the Gymshark HQ in the UK and to start working on these things with the team. If you want to see more like this, then please subscribe. Again, I keep saying this, but I'm going to be posting more and more content because this is something that's really important to me. I am really, really enjoying making these videos. I'm really enjoying talking to you guys and taking you through this journey with me. It's one hell of a journey. I'm obviously being relatively young and Gymshark growing so fast. I think this is a really unique and cool thing and I'm really happy to be able to share my learns along this journey with you. I'm going to be responding to as many comments as I can. I will answer any of your questions as full as I can. And if they're super, super long, then I'll dedicate a video to it. Subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to like this video. And thank you so much for watching.